Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because this little number just came in the mail about an hour ago. It is the Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen palette, their collaboration palette. And right when I got it, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna film a first impression and review on it. So I got ready to film it and can't wait to share it with you guys. I use the whole entire palette to create, th to create this look. So if you're interested, please be sure to keep watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like me, you like my channel, or you wanna see more videos like this. Leave a comment down below, let me know, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already so that you guys get all the notifications whenever I upload a new video. All right, I am so excited. This is the Becca Chrissy palette. Now it does come in this really pretty rose gold box as well. It says Becca X Chrissy, or Becca Heart Chrissy has an embossment on it. The palette itself is extra beautiful. It's kind of this like light pink and a soft apricot marble and it does have a protective pl plastic sheet over it. So we'll remove that. Feels kind of rubbery. So the four shades are Beach Nectar, which is an illuminator. We have Hibiscus Bloom, the blush. Malibu the bronzer and this one is rose gold the highlighter. I do want to say that I wish that the bronzer was bigger That's really a tiny bronzer, which is one thing that I'm not super into. I wish that they Switched out one of the highlighters or illuminators for a bigger bronzer just because I'm such a huge bronzer fiend. So all in all, you get four different shades of product. The palette retails for $46. I was gonna get it at Sephora.com, but they sold out. So it actually ended up working out quite nicely and in my favor because I ended up purchasing it off of Becca Cosmetics website. And since I usually purchase Becca through Sephora, I hadn't purchased anything directly from their website. I got 20% off my first order. So I believe I paid like $36 for this. And I believe shipping was free. Now, in addition to the palette itself, you also get these Becca and Chrissy Teigen stickers. They're kind of like these doodly stickers. They do remind me a lot of the Glossier stickers, but I thought that was cute that they threw these in there. And then you also get this little book called Cooking with Chrissy. And what this is, is just essentially a lookbook. And it just shows you all the different looks that you can create using the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. So I figured we would try doing one of these for this video. And uh, yeah, I thought that would be fun. I'm gonna get started with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. This is just a really nice illuminating primer. And we're gonna apply this all over the face. I might have used a little bit too much, but uh, we'll make it work. Whatever's left over, I just put on my neck, my shoulders, my chest, just to keep everything looking super nice and illuminated. And I actually did get a Becca foundation sample for their Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And when I was sliding these open, I was like, come on, what is this going to show me? Like, I can't even do a full face application, so I'm not even going to know anything other than if one of these three shades matches my skin tone but i won't get to see like what it looks like on the skin so i just think sachet samples they don't do anything for me you're not going to convince me to buy a product with a sachet sample it has to be amazing if you want me to purchase a product with a sachet sample you know what i mean so i'm going to be using the maybelline dream bb cream did i say that word for you guys i totally did i'm just going to do a little bit of this on my face. I like this because it's super lightweight and I've actually really been liking using this crown brush to apply it. It just works the product into the skin and really shears it out so it never looks cakey. I don't think the BB cream looks cakey. I think you'd have to try really hard to get it to look cakey but I don't know. I just like how this really shears the product out. I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer so I'm gonna use oh, NARS Radiant Creamy gonna pop this under the eyes I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dryer going on in the background but alas I am in fact a real person who sometimes has to do laundry at the same time of filming which is what which, which is exactly what's going on right now and then I just take my finger 
to kind of help it along and really melt it into my skin. I'm gonna give my eyes just a little bit of primer. So I'm gonna use Benefits Air Patrol. Oops. Sometimes the top layer dries out so you get a random blob of goo. That was not supposed to happen. Let's take it under the lower lash line as well. The look I'm choosing from the Chrissy Teigen Becca cookbook is the friend, this one right here. So we've done our base. So it says apply rose gold highlighter all over the lids. What? This does not tell me anything that I thought that it was going to tell me. Redo. We're just going to do this ourselves. I'm going to first go in with Malibu, the bronzer. Just pick it up on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply this into the crease of my eye to use as a transition shade. And I did see in this cookbook that the makeup artist said that she also used it to contour Chrissy's face. So I'm going to try to contour with it, but I'm just saying, first impression is that this is a pretty warm bronzer. I'm gonna take this on the lower lash line too, just to add a little bit of definition under there. It's pretty buildable, like every time I go in with another layer, I'm sure you guys can also see on camera, it just gets a little bit more intensified. So that's always nice when you have a product that's really nice and buildable. So then it just says that you apply the highlight all over your eyelids, so I'm gonna go in with Beach Nectar, which is the illuminator. Ooh, that is so pretty. I really like this Beach Nectar highlight. So I'm gonna just uh, go in with some of the other highlighter, the rose gold one. And I hate to ruin that pretty heart on there, but I'm going to apply some of this just on the center of the eyelids for some extra added shine. Oh. I think it's super pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna try the rose gold, but I'm afraid it's not gonna be light enough, but I was wrong. It looks so pretty. I'm just popping rose gold right under the brow bone and loving it. Gorgeous. I'm also gonna put this on the inner corner. You know what, why not just take some and put it on the lower lash line too, just to give a little bit more brightness. So for blush, we're gonna go in with doo -doo -doo, Hibiscus Bloom. I'm kind of worried that it's not going to look good on me. I'm going to dip my brush in it, and I always do excess on the back of my hand when I'm working with blushes, just because you don't want to end up with clown face. I'm going to just swirl this onto the apples on my cheeks. Oh my gosh, I really like it. I was really thinking I wasn't going to like this color because I thought it was going to look too candy-ish on me. I feel like Chrissy Teigen. But actually, I feel like it's the shade of blush that Chrissy is always in. She's always in kind of like this corally, poppy, bright pink blush. And I feel like this just really looks like something that she wears all the time. Okay, so I'm going to contour my face a little bit. And I'm going to use Hula by Benefit just because... Malibu isn't a matte bronzer and I want to use it all over my entire face. Uh, whereas when I'm trying to contour with a bronzer, I try to use something that's going to be different than the shade that I'm going to bronze with my face. And I'm afraid I'm going to look muddy if I use it to contour and bronze. Just go right down the sides of my nose, right down the tip of my nose, chin, jawline. And you guys saw me do cheekbones and forehead, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna go in with Malibu the bronzer. Like I said, I do just wish that this was a larger pan because I like bronzer so much that I wish it was larger. I wonder if they're all the same amount of product in grams. It's just that the depth of the pan individually is different. Like, I don't know, I'll have to look into that. But, okay, here we go. It is a very warm bronzer, which I like. I like warmer bronzers. I think they look more realistic and sun-kissed. Guys, look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm in love with this palette. I knew I was gonna love it, but I just, uh, I didn't think I was gonna be so in awe of it. I just really, really like it a lot. I've never used a Becca bronzer before, so this is equally as exciting to get to try a Becca bronzer for the first time. Seriously, just gonna like load up on the bronzer. I love that. I love this palette. The last thing I'm going to do is highlight the face and I'm going to use both the highlighters. So I'm going to go in first with the shade Beach Nectar, which is the one that's a little bit darker. 
and I'm going to apply this all over my face and then we'll try topping it with the rose gold highlighter just to see how that looks guys look at that it is that gorgeous Becca glow that gives you that glossy wet looking sheen from a powder it's amazing Becca highlighters are just some of the absolute best they create such a natural beautiful dewy glossy sheen on the skin oh my gosh I'm gonna take this on the cupid's bow just using my fingers I'm gonna take a little bit right down the center of my nose I'm also gonna use a little bit more right on the corners of my eyes we did the temples so there it is Oh, can you even? It looks so pretty. So now we're gonna go right on top of this and we're gonna be using the uh, rose gold, sorry. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this right on top of beach neck there. Oh my God. Guys, how pretty is that? It's so pretty. I love these highlights. And I was honestly thinking I'm worried about the rose gold highlight because sometimes I look really bad in rose gold, but this looks so gorgeous on an olive skin tone. Oh, I love this. You already know what I'm gonna say for this review. It's amazing, I'm in love with it. To finish off the face, I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows with Anastasia Soft Brown Brow Pencil. I'm gonna do one coat of waterproof mascara. This is Essence I Love Volume. And then right on top, I'm gonna do a couple coats of Max Zoom Lash. So now I'm just gonna take Bahama from NARS, one of my favorite lip colors. This really needs to be sharpened. <laughs> And I thought if we did something like a little bit purpley mixed in there, that would be really fun too. So I'm using the shade 90 from Bite. And then just a little bit of lip gloss on top. Alright guys, so I feel like I have lip gloss all over my teeth. All right, we're good now. So I was super excited to try this on camera for the first time with you guys. I love Becca Cosmetics. I love Chrissy Teigen. When I heard that this palette was coming out, I knew I was gonna purchase it as soon as I could. So I'm really just happy to try it on camera for the first time with you guys. I think the colors are absolutely beautiful. You guys know that this is the kind of makeup that I am all about. Just radiant, glowing, dewy, beaming from within makeup and I think that this palette really encaptures all of that. I love the palette itself. I think you can create amazing, gorgeous, radiant, dewy, bronzy, beachy looks using this palette which you guys know I am all about and it's my absolute favorite kind of makeup. I think the palette tones are romantic, they're warm, they're summery. The palette itself just gives kind of like a summer sunset vibe. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think you guys can tell just by looking at the shades that some of these highlighter shades are not gonna be the best for those of you with lighter and fair skin tones, but that's not to say that you can't work around it and use them as eyeshadows or use them as blush toppers, bronzer toppers. You can get creative with the palettes, but I'm just saying as highlighters and illuminators, they're probably not gonna look the best on lighter and fair skin tones. It's gonna be more geared towards medium and darker skin tones so just keep that in mind that the shades are a little bit darker and all in all I think it's a really great palette I'm so excited that I purchased it Ooh, I love this I'm gonna be using it so much this summer and yeah if you guys want to see me use this in more tutorials or if you have any questions about the palette itself please be sure to leave some comments down below and I'm gonna have product links, information, a full list of all the products that I used in this video will be in the description box down below. I'm also going to have my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter, so please be sure to come follow me on there and talk to me on there because I love talking to you guys. My tank top is uh, falling down. I will see you guys in my next video. Leave a comment down below if you have any like ideas of what you'd like to see this palette used in for a future upcoming video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.